Let's mirror this Azure SQL database adventure works. In Fabric, we go to Mirror Azure SQL database. We pick Azure SQL database. We're going to enter connection settings and click on connect. We now see a list of all of the tables that we'd like to mirror. On clicking the warning symbol, you see that certain data types are not supported yet, but will be supported soon. We select all of the tables you want to mirror and click connect. We now enter the name of our mirror database, mirrored underscore adventureworks, and click create mirror database. We now see that this is starting. We can click on mirror replication and see the status is running and the rows replicated is 450. We run a select count for sales LD dot address and we see that the count is 450. We see that this is 450 as well. Next, we're going to make some schema changes and see that reflected in the mirror table and fabric. We have a product table here. We're going to alter this table to include a new column for rating. We run a select query and we see the new column for rating. We wish to store more granular rating, so we're going to update it to be of decimal type. We run the select query again and we notice that the rating column has been updated. Next, we want to enter the customer address as part of the table customer, so we delete the table customer address. We refresh the mirrored Azure SQL DB and we notice that the table does not exist. Next, we want to rename the table sales order detail to sales order. On refresh, we see that the table has been renamed. Next, we rename the color column to color code. On refresh, we see that the column has been renamed.